All right, last batch of practice. We've got 3 eighths x minus 1 third x plus 6 equals 1 sixth x. So I have one term here. I have one term here, one term here, and one term here. So if I needed a common denominator, what would it be? It would be 24. So I'm gonna, that's actually the least common multiple. So I'm going to multiply through by 24 to all four terms. And that's a 24. All right, so 24 divided by 8 is 3 times 3x is 9x minus 24 divided by 3 is 8. So I have 8x plus 24 times 6 is a large number. It should be 144. It is. 144 equals 6 and 24 reduces to 4. So that gives me 4x. Okay, so I'm going to combine like terms. That gives me a single x plus 144 is 4x. So again, my constant is already by itself. So I'm going to go ahead and move this one over. Even if it was larger, I'd move it over. So change his sign. And that gives me 144 equals 3x. So divide both by 3. And I get 40. I think that's 48. 144 divided by 3 is 48. So you have 48x. All right, let's try another one. Fractions are our friends. So we have 1 third times 5x plus 6 minus 1 half times x plus 7. And that's going to equal 2. So how many terms do we have? This is glued together with multiplication. Then I have this one, and then I have this one. So that's glued together. So I've got three chunks that I'm working with. So my denominators are 3 and 2. If I needed a common denominator, it would be a 6. So I'm going to multiply 6 times all three chunks. Make sure you get all three of them. And so this reduces. Uh, 3 goes into 6 twice. So I now have a 2 times a 5x plus 6. 2 and 6 reduces to 3 times x plus 7, and that's going to equal 12. So what do I know how to do? I can distribute. This gives me a 10x plus 12. This gives me a negative 3x minus 21. That gives me a 12. So I'm going to combine like terms on the left. 10x's minus 3x's is 7x's. 12 minus 21 is negative 9. And now my x's are already isolated, so I'm going to go ahead and get rid of that 9. So I have 7x is 21. Oops, sorry, don't divide by x. And so x equals 3. Okay, so these are last few are ending up awfully pretty. All right, let's start off with no fractions. Give our brains a break. And that's going to equal 3 times 3x plus 2 plus 39. All right, so I've got organizing to do on both sides. So I'm going to distribute over here. So 9x plus 45. Distribute over here. I get 9x plus 6 plus 39. So my left side is already organized. My right side, I need to combine like terms. So I've got 9x plus 45 equals 9x plus 45. And hopefully you're noticing something right now. So let's go ahead and try and get our x's organized. Well, my x's fall off, and I'm left with 45 equals 45. Well, is that true? Yes, it is. So since this is true, that means you have all real numbers. Okay, your variables fell off, but the resulting statement is true, which means I can put any value for x in there, and it's going to work. Okay, so your solution set is all real numbers because 45 equals 45 and your variables fell off. All right, so we're going to solve. So I've got a 2 times a 7s plus 
plus 7, minus 4s, equals 2 times 5s plus 1, minus 3. Okay, so what do I know how to do on the left? I can distribute. So I have 14s plus 14 minus 4s. What can I do on the right? I can distribute. And now I can combine like terms on the left. So 14s's minus 4s's is 10s's plus 14. 10s's and then I got a 2 minus 3. So 2 minus 3 is negative 1. So now you should notice something. Your s's are fixing to cancel. So subtract 10s from both sides, which looks suspiciously like a 105. That's why I usually put hats on my fives. Um, see, he has a hat on. All right, so that gives me a 14 equals negative 1. Well, that's not true. So none of this works. Your solution is the empty set. Nothing is ever going to make that work. And that is it for this section. So hopefully that gave you enough practice with solving equations and infinite solutions, no solutions, fractions, and decimals.